Thanks for coming back to PokerNews.com. I am here with Ellie Lazara, and you were so close to getting your fourth WSOP bracelet a few weeks ago in the 10K 08. Heads up, you lost to Paul Volpe. Tell me a little bit about, obviously, you're happy to take the money home. You like making the deep run, but it's still a little bittersweet to get second place. Oh, absolutely, especially in the 10K event. When you have a second, is, I told everybody when I got second, I probably won't lose this World Series of Poker anymore because 250 is 250. And when you don't enter the million dollar event or the 100,000 event, you're definitely going to be on the profit side, which a lot of unfortunate players would not be doing the World Series. So you're happy. You're happy you're in, in the money for this whole World Series of Poker yeah. year. You're right. I, I already cash in four event and I'm playing now the 10k which is one of my favorite event and I have a lot of hope for this one and uh, caching is not good enough especially when you make it deep in I got deep in a study or better 12 and I got deep I'm almost you know I got the mini bubble in the 50k which uh, hurt a lot if there is a tournament the tilting to get out is a championship because this is one of the best events and you're definitely playing with the best players in the world. But they are the best players in the world, but they're also your friends. Absolutely. Every one of them. I mean, Johnny Ward, if you show me one person in the poker community that don't like Johnny Ward, I won't believe you. This guy is the most unbelievable, getting alone, and the easiest fun guy in, in poker. He never gets mad at you when he loses, and if he loses, he just get up and go. He never gets mad at dealers. He's just the best, you know? And of course, Grinder, I mean, come on. Grinder is, is one of our uh, old time friends. Uh, a lot of young kids won't understand the animal, animal side that Grinder has. And he came into my table and I had like a million dollars in chip and I felt so comfortable. And all of a sudden, Grinder sit down and I feel, <clears throat> all of a sudden, I got a guy that sit down and really, you know, like to rule the table. So I give it to you, Grinder. You're a good player. Yeah, winning his third Poker Players Championship. In 10 years. I bet, and I'm a gambling man, we will not see it coming. We won't see a three in 10 years again in, in our lifetime. Of the same event or of the Poker the Players Championship? The, yeah, the 50K event, I believe. The 50K, which is very hard. You get the best player in the, in the world playing the best game for five days and... What he did is just amazing. It's really amazing. Are there any new players coming up that you're excited about whose game you really like and emulate? Because, you know, you've been playing with the same guys for so long. Who are, like, the new kids on the block? Well, there's a few new new kids, you know, some of the No Limit player, and uh, I'll be the biggest ambassador to to root for the mixed games. And we know now what is mixed game uh, mean to the World Series of Poker. If they're going to do the 1,500 and 1,000 and 1,500,000 every day, no limit, people, I don't think they'll be, you know, we, they spice it. When they mean spice it, I believe Daniel in, in the comedy, so he put so many mixed game in, in between, so many championships, and it's beautiful. And that's why people will come in, and I'm going to come in until I can stand like Doyle. I'll be coming in until I can stand in this place. You know, I, I just love the mix event. New, new players, I can point on a few, you know, like Ismail Buren is one of the best, you know, the German guy. Um, I mean, I see semi-retired Jason Marcier now. You know, I wish he would be doing what he used to do. Sean Deeb is very talented, but... You know, some of the really young and uh, newcomer, I like to see them in my game, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on in. The water's yeah. fine. Now, you're known for playing high-stakes cash mixed games. How do you balance the cash game schedule with the tournament schedule during the World Series? Well, this is a good question. The, last year, I didn't play any event. The year before, when I played, I used to play. I Almost every event that I play over those mix, I make the second day or third day. So now I finish at three and I miss the cash game. I used to go straight to Aria and Bellagio and play until five, six in the morning and then come back. If somebody is digging in poker, it's me. <laughs> I just love poker. Well, maybe it's not a degen if you love it. Degen, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know yeah. what you mean. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank really appreciate it. And appreciate it's love, it. love to see you playing all these mixed games and uh, showing all these new kids some lessons. Thank you. Of Thanks, course. Poker News.